It's been a while. So I already did the introduction of this video and a little bit more, but I didn't have the mic on, so that's how long it's been since I've actually tried making a video. Basically, this video introduction was pretty much gonna be about how I've been about filming. I really wanna do it, but I kinda got really lazy, and then I recently realized how much I'm going to regret not filming my senior year. Even though high school technically won't matter all that much once I'm out, I would still like to reflect on the good memories and the good times that I've had. Though my channel's really dead, there was this kid that messaged me on Instagram asking for advice. And this advice strung from a video I made back in sophomore or freshman year. It was talking about being a new kid. So this guy Drew said, Hi, I saw your video on being the new kid at school. Today was my third day at my new school. For the first two days, I sat in the hallway by myself. Today I asked a nice kid from my class if he had the seat open, and he said no, so I sat alone. I've talked to a lot of people, but I haven't really connected with any. I'll probably sit again alone tomorrow. I'm wondering how long you sat alone for. Also, did your first friend come to you, or did you go to them? Okay, so this video isn't going to be all about that, but I'm going to help explain what I told him. I told him that it takes time. In life, you're gonna have a bunch of rejections. Like, take college apps. We just had a bunch of college apps for the seniors, and a lot of people are gonna get rejected, but then there's also gonna be a lot of people that get accepted. It's just how life goes. You're gonna get rejected, but you're gonna get accepted. It just depends what you make of it. Getting rejected is a learning curve. Then you learn kind of how to approach people. It's a really social situation that you have to account for later in your life. And for me, I didn't make a friend for a while. I mean, I didn't like completely not talk to people, but I was a very shut out person and people were very shut out to me. It's kind of just how it went both ways. And that's also my fault. And it's not always my fault. For my first friend, it wasn't really like a pinpoint uh, moment. It kind of just happened a little gradually over time. My first two years of high school weren't my favorite. Um, that's why I decided to switch and when I switched and went to wood Which is the new school I go to now it, I had some old friends there and of course that made it easier But I got involved in leadership and that completely changed my social aspect my happiness and my mentality So first thing that I did when I switched to my new school is I had ASB training uh, For the leadership class and that went good and then I also had this thing called link training We had a group of a hundred students be prepared and trained to help introduce the incoming freshman class of about 400 kids into our school. I didn't have that experience at my last school, but doing this with Link, I was able to help connect freshmen to other kids, help me connect to them, and just kind of introduce them to a new place. I think a personal connection with just one person can definitely change how you experience life. Everybody that you're friends with now has had a some slight or big effect on your life, whether you believe it or not, in some way, their actions and their comments and whatever they said has affected your life in some sort of way. And that's why, for me, I'm very, very grateful for the friends that I have because they've shaped me into the person I am now. So basically, going back to Drew, how to make friends with somebody else, get yourself associated with other people in common interests, like clubs, leadership, people that want to help out. Um, there's also a lot of community things you could do. It's a lot of common interest, and I think for me, I didn't have any personal common interest with other kids at my last school, which caused me to weigh myself out from the crowd. That's gonna be the end of this video. It's already 3.50 right now, and I have my friend Austin's birthday party at six o'clock, and it's like a semi-formal dinner, so I have to get changed out of my PJs. I might make a recap video of what I've been up to before this. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, I'm just gonna get ready now. All right, so now we are on our way to Austin's. I got dressed up a little bit, semi-formal. Um, yeah, we're gonna meet up with the rest of the guys there and everything, so it'll be a fun night. Also, you guys missed uh, when I got Channing Tatum, so. So what's up, Channing? Yeah, he just chills in the back of my car. You know it's Austin's house because it's all decorated. I His know. family always goes all out. I'm jealous. Hello, sir. Come on in. Hey. Hello. Ooh, your dog's her. even, she, your she dog's is. even dressed up, dude. <laughs> So Austin, you wanna you wanna tell a little bit about yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Austin Malone. I just turned 18. What have you my, done since you're 18? Uh, since, since my 18th, registered to vote and registered for the draft. 
Are you gonna kill some Nazis? Hell yeah, I'm gonna kill some Nazis. Yeah, I'm, I'm registered for both. <laughs> I can't because my body's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you got a stupid digestive system, haha. <laughs> Zach, since he has celiac disease, he can't enlist. This is a uh, Lion King, and it's actually got, right here is pieces of film from the actual Lion King, like the original. It's like, uh, you, you can see when you come up, it's like a single clip from a, from a scene. Nice. Ah, uh, my people! Oh, it's Nando, what the? What is Nando doing? You know me, just chilling by the snacks. <laughs> you know, the first time I was going through my streaks and I actually sent one in the group chat. <laughs> Damn, oh, friends really so doing the most. Cool. Get you some friends like this. Oh, oh, Three phones. Look Somebody... at that! <laughs> toast! Look Austin, why can't we be like that? Wait, we're gonna make toast? <laughs> <laughs> Run in the, the fucking door. I'd rather have belly here at this. So, um, as a kid, I never uh, had many birthday parties. Or I had like one, like a ten. And also back then, I didn't have really that many friends. It was people, um, you know, across the street in my neighborhood. And now I get to have my second birthday party with the closest people in my life, the people that I love the most. So, this night isn't just about me. It's about you guys and your relationships with me and how I love each and every one of you. So, to all of us. I love you, Austin. Give us the Gatsby. Oh, there we go. I love you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Austin. Happy birthday to you. Austin, what did you, Austin, what did you wish for? I have it. That's cringy. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, it's sweet. Hell yeah, hell yeah, it's fucking lit. It's an emoji yeah. finish. Pitch is finished. Yes, yes, the emoji movie, the best movie of all time. Yes! It's got all your favorites. Is that Sir Patrick Stewart? Only at Target. It's the potty butter. <laughs> <laughs> if there's something dead in here, I swear to God. Oh, oh I thought he actually just got graham oh, crackers. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, wait, I know what this is. Oh, I know what this is too. Oh, it's Jesus. It's, it's a sock. Man. Oh, take it! Take it! Take it! Let's go! <laughs> 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 Austin! Lifestyle's ultra sensitive. Try Almost it like wearing a mask. Fuck yeah! Strawberry oh, Cheerio! <laughs> Pull it out. Hell yeah! The emoji movie on TV! Oh, yeah! Old boys do for fun. Oh no, this is different. My eyes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Okay, wait. Yeah. Can you stand him in your back seat like you? I do with Channing Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> is that your car? Yes. <laughs> it's right up there. I hate you. To conduct your own prostate exam. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. That's even better. That's even better. Black. Hold on. Hold on. It's a black. Go. It's an go. 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 It's a black. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking kidding. No. It's yours. It's yours. 
you're fucking kidding that's me. That's your you're. Your someone give me the cock ring. I'm gonna propose. <laughs> <laughs> You marry me. <laughs> put it on! 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 That looks like your handwriting, Sarah. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, that's your jeans. That's because I believe in you. Should we wash our hands? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny because they poop. Because <laughs> they poop. Zach, feel the poop emoji. It. I won't. I won't. Yeah. I won't buckle underneath the pressure. Got a couple different currencies inside my dresser. Shawty spent the night in and she stole my sweatshirt. But I know she'll be back around, so it's whatever.